Friendship and Joy with me, Karen, today. Um, as you can tell, I'm still in Sweden. Uh, I have a few more weeks here until I get to come back to Canada. And um, I have been um, making the most out of my time here. Of course, that includes knitting. I, I have, as you can see, I'm wearing it right now, that wonderful cardigan, the Spark Cardigan by Andrea Maori. I have now finished and that was a fun, fast knit. Surprisingly quick. Um, after I have knitted the other sweaters, the Trouville sweater and the other little sweater that I finished, and this one uh, with the fingering weight yarn, knitting something in a worsted weight just fly by so much <laughs> faster when you knit a little thicker. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to wear this one um, the whole time because it is warm and and I'm looking forward to wearing it outside when the weather is a little bit more spring-like and all you need is just a, a cardigan when you go out. As I said, I finished the other little sweater that I was working on. This sweater that I knitted without a pattern, um, I just took inspiration from the, I believe it was the Treville sweater that I used for the increases in the yoke and then the pattern on the sweater was inspired by the night shift shawl so it's basically a mosaic knitted top and uh, i used up all the leftover yarn that i had from the treville sweater and it turned out pretty nice i have now gifted that top to my friend mia and uh, i hope she will uh, enjoy it uh, the other sweater I'm currently working on is, I've gotten this far on that one, <laughs> I made one sleeve. Uh, I am actually one, actually, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Back, I could not, um, I just could not wear that sweater. <laughs> too warm to wear it inside. It's actually more of an outside sweater. I'm looking forward to wearing it outdoors. So I'm back, moving on. So this sweater um, I have now worked on for uh, quite a bit. I'm using a design that I put together on Stitch Fiddle. It looks like this and I made this sleeve here um, and I just finished it off with an I-cord edge at the bottom. I'm gonna have to block this out because it rolls up a little bit, but we'll see how far this goes. The sleeves, I, oh, I usually find them tedious to make, so whenever I make a sweater I actually do the sleeves first. That way I got them out of the way, so to speak. Once I've done the sleeves, it's just plain knitting and you can lose yourself in an audiobook or listening to, to music or whatever and just knit without thinking. So it's kind of nice to get the, sometimes it's nice to get that part done first and then you will see how far the body will take you because it also depends on how long you're gonna have this sweater. The top I'm wearing right now is a, it's a longer top that comes down over your tush a little bit. And sometimes I like to wear sweaters a little longer. So if I have enough yarn, now I know I have the sleeves done, um, I might continue and actually make this an extra long one. Um, permitted, I have enough yarn for it. Some notes on the Spark cardigan that I loved to knit. It was fun, it was fast as I said. In, it, it actually says in the pattern to go up one size in needle size when you knit the sleeves because when you do color work on the sleeves it often tends to get a little tighter the tension gets a little tighter I think naturally when you do either magic loop or um, double pointed needles it is a little easier to, to I don't know why actually but you, yeah I too had a little problem with tension when I was knitting the sleeves. So of course I ignored the suggestion of going up one needle size so my sleeves were a little bit on the tight side. Uh, nothing I couldn't block out 
but if I knit another one, which I know I will, <laughs> uh, I might um, take her advice and go up one needle size in the sleeve when I knit that. Uh, other than that, it was very straightforward. The pattern was so simple that you don't even have to think about what you're doing. So it, it becomes a very easy knit. I will definitely enjoy making another one ASAP. <laughs> the yarn that I used for that um, cardigan was a Swedish yarn called Yerbo. I think I've talked about that yarn before. It is a little rougher, but knits up beautifully. It's a pure 100% wool yarn, very traditional type of yarn. Um, it reminds me more of the Icelandic uh, yarns that are a little rougher to the touch, but I find that they become incredibly warm and with wear, they do soften up a bit. Um, and once I blocked it, it became a little softer too. So I think I, I actually quite enjoy it. And a cardigan like that, you will never really wear next to your skin anyways. You often wear it with the top underneath. So I, um, I quite like it. The colored yarn that I used was the Malabrigo Archangel. And it is a worsted weight, but it is a much thinner, finer yarn, not as fluffy, I guess, or plush. I don't know. It's a little thinner, silkier maybe, that's why, than the Yerbo yarn. So I do think that uh, mixing those two, uh, even though it was different texture and slightly different thickness, was not an issue at all. Uh, I do think it's more important to get the color that you want in, in the uh, contrasting color, because that is what really makes the, the uh, sweater come to life. Um, I am already in my mind thinking about the next one that I'm going to be knit, knitting, and I think that a, the Cascade 220 line has a nice soft um, worsted weight yarn that I can use. I think it's, it's the, yeah, Cascade 220 in a cream base. And then I might find, either I do another Malabrigo as the color gradient. Um, the, the yarn that the cardigan calls for, I think is Magpie in the white and Spin Cycle in the color gradient. Those yarns are very nice. They're also very pricey. So a less expensive alternative for the color gradient would be the Malabrigo or um, even Drops, Drops Design. I think it's called Drops Delight. That might be, if I can find a color gradient yarn, they have some pretty ones as well. They might be a little thicker. The idea is to have a color gradient, so I, I'm so excited. I can't wait to, to cast on for, for cardigan number two. One cannot have too many cardigans. Am I right? I think so. So here I am knitting the sleeve on this one. Um, I think I'm just gonna take it down um, plain in the body and then finish it off the same as I did with sleeve here with a little bit of the, the pattern and then a burgundy I-cord bind off and <laughs> And then I'll have myself another little sweater. I guess I can use it for next winter. I don't know when I'm gonna be using it, but um, we'll see. So my my son came in when I had started with the green, with the green and the yellow, and he said, "Oh my God, what are you making?" And I said, "Oh, it's a sweater." And he said, "That reminds me of the carpet in the Shining movie." I, I guess that you know the scene in The Shining where the little boy is on his tricycle in the hallway and there's a big hallway and then there's carpet on the... <laughs> and I looked it up and it, it looks exactly like The Shining. <laughs> Very similar anyways, have a look at this. So, I felt that I had to add some white to it too, <laughs> otherwise it was going to look too much like The Shining and that's, maybe this will be my haunted sweater, who knows, I don't know. I've come to think of this sweater as I've been sort of keeping it on hold 
Uh, and then whenever I think of it, I was like, oh, I gotta finish this shining sweater. So I guess this one is gonna be called the shine from now on. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but my shining sweater. When I'm in quarantine, when I come back to Canada, uh, I will first have to sit in a hotel for a little bit and then I have to finish off my quarantine at home. And I, I need to make sure I have <laughs> enough yarn so I can have some knitting to do while I'm in quarantine because um, it will be awfully boring if I didn't. Anyways, that was just a little quick update on what I have knitted so far. And till next time, happy knitting. Take care. Bye. Nej. Det här fungerar inte. Jag måste komma upp högre. And I have been looking in the wrong spot the whole time. Time to do it over again. I'm gonna have so much fun editing this video. It's ridiculous.